All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bojack, Bojack Horseman, Horseman Season 1, one Episode 4. four. All right. Oh boy, last that episode, last episode. Yeah, it gave us a, a, a look into a terrifying mm -hmm. uh, uh, sliver of Bojack's past, but also uh, Bojack's uh, future. Yes. If he if he continues, or or at the very least, even some of his present, if he mm -hmm. just continues down his own uh, path, because it could be worse. It could be it could worse, be a lot worse. And in a lot of ways, bro, you're already like a pretty moderate to decent percentage of the way there. It's just yeah. that you are you're not in there some yet. ways. Yeah, you're in some ways just a, a little bit. A little bit more self-aware, and not even that much. Like it's just, yeah, just it's, a little bit. In all some this ways, shit happened to you when you were better equipped to be able to deal with it. So mm -hmm. even if you feel powerless and you feel pathetic, you're actually, all things considered, in a pretty good spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hence, Diana, mm -hmm. Ghost Rider time. Yep. Uh, hence, also, you know, your friends haven't. Um, you know, abandoned you entirely or right. stopped saying entirely uh, things that you know, don't Make enable you. uncomfortable? You or, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh -huh. yeah, there's, some, there's some using happening. You Maybe. Know, in the same way but that still, you two Todd's are a good using one. each other in the other things there. It, Todd's, Todd's, yeah, Todd's not completely bad. You know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So hang on to him. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe build some of these connections a little bit. More. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. And he says, uh, he says, oh, the long face and stand I up. Hey, Going back to the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That long face. Yeah. Yeah. Eighty-five. Okay. Keep this up, and the only thing we're gonna get is our money back. Okay, okay, it wasn't that funny. Maybe you didn't get it. Let me buy you a drink. Get cancer, jerkwad. You've got some good material. You really do. The Gorbachev stuff, it's killer. But you gotta stop asking people if they get things. But then how do I know if they got it? They'll laugh. Yep. Let me mm -hmm. buy you a drink. Oh, I don't drink. Bojack Horseman. Wow. Herb Dang. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fix God that. Damn it, Todd, clean up your shit. What am I supposed to do? Okay, you don't give me any closet space. <sighs> Not my problem. Hey, Bojack. These are, are these are, are so cringe. Zelda? Don't know what that means. Well, I was talking to Wayne. Who's Wayne? I'm Wayne. Wayne's writing an article about me for BuzzFeed. Oh god. Oh. Diane's writing a book about you. Wayne's writing an article about me. We're the same. How could you think that that's the same? The book will be in libraries for hundreds of years. Your BuzzFeed article will be crammed between an animated gif of a cat falling asleep and a list of fun facts about Legally Blonde. Zoe and Zelda. Zelda was the sunny, fun-loving extra. Ah. Look at my pumpkin, Mr. Peanut Butter. Pretty smile, Zelly Belly. Whereas Zoe was the smart, cynical introvert. My pumpkin's throwing up because Halloween encourages excessive consumption of refined sugar at a time when obesity rates are sky high. Uh, mm. Everyone's either a Zoe or a Zelda. For example, okay. Nixon was a Zoe and Kennedy a Zelda. Al Gore, huh. Zoe. George W. Bush, total Zelda. It's R2-D2 huh. and C-3PO. Zoe hmm. and Emily Deschanel. Well, I think I'm a Zelda. Or maybe you're the third kind of person whose only function is to drain the energy and life force from his host <laughs> organism. <laughs> no, that's right. I'm pretty much worthless. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He took every, like, hors d'oeuvre he could from the... The system works. I don't have a job. I don't have any prospects. Oh, oh the we piano. get the Todd episode? I call it Newtopia Rising. Book one, the search for a new utopia. <sighs> Traveling on a spaceship. I'm in, I'm out. So far away from home. You know, change the title. You've got heart here. New and better place. A planet rich with loam. We learned a lot and had some laughs, but they couldn't make us slaves. No! No, they couldn't make us slaves. No. That was, and I don't say this lightly, worse than a hundred September 11th. Oh my yeah, God. You're right. This was stupid. Oh my <laughs> God. Well, guess I'll give up forever. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Todd, what's it tell? Five years ago, he found his way into one of my house parties and never left. And you've never asked him anything about himself? I've asked him to get a job. I've asked him to move out. With a little encouragement? 
I'll bet he could really flourish. I mean, didn't you have anyone who helped you when you were just starting out? Yeah, there it is. No. <laughs> thinks, but do you let him stay here because you're kind or just because you're terrified of being alone? That is... <laughs> 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 to be alone. That is all I want. Well, it's not really true. Hmm. I don't think you'd be clipping Todd's wings all the time. What? That's unbelievable. Todd, I would like to help you with your dumbass rock opera. What? I am supporting you i i don't understand oh my god are you dying <laughs> I, where to start okay well the headline is i hate it yeah 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 yep. it. yep. it's the bad it's bad execution is also bad it's an irredeemable jumble of shit tough but fair <clears throat> that said i don't see why we can't make something really great here and that's why this planet sucks Imagine if the Holocaust happened every four years like the Olympics. I would rather that happen than your rock opera. That's not really a note. No. In fact, none of your notes. Yeah, you have not been giving action yeah. bullet. Nope. Oh, you like that? You like daddy's good stuff? Not especially. Yeah. Did you get there? Okay. What if? Mm, is yes. It? Wait, you want to get lunch? With me. Is this like the time you invited me to lunch, but then when I got to the restaurant, you texted me to tell me you weren't coming because you were at a strip club eating stripper for lunch, and also it was my birthday? No. Then hooray! So, how long have you been dating Mr. Peanut Butter? Is it serious? I'm only asking for the article. Good uh. question. How long does it take to write a BuzzFeed article? I want to be thorough. I thought we were going to see the Diane Arbus show at LACMA today. You know I love Diane Arbus. <laughs> I see what's happening here. Her name is Diane, and your name is Diane. <laughs> no. Wait, so which one are they doing? Uh, I think they're dropping him off at the burrito place. Yeah. yeah. You were on the run from the Russian mafia. <laughs> <laughs> of course he was. And that was a different mafia. That was a different sure. mafia, though. Yeah. I was up for Doctor Decapitator in the movie version. No, Except no. I someone hit her. The part ended up going to Robert Downey Jr. If it was Junior, I would have said Junior. I flunked out of school. My girlfriend left me. I mean, I didn't stop playing until my mom threw me out of the house. I mean, that's when I first realized. Oh. Uh, I'm a total screw up. You're not a screw up. Any but he hasn't changed since then. That was. Hmm. That's funny. This strip club is literally right behind them there. Oh, really? Yeah. When the what van? Virgil Van Cleef is the biggest name in rock opera. Okay, think of all the great rock operas from the last 20 years. He's going to mention two. Okay. He had a piece of all of them. Hey, you said yourself the train is moving, but if you think we're not ready, I mean, I'll listen to you. Hey, Whoa. you've done enough listening, buddy. Maybe it's about time I start listening. But at the same time, I'm starting to enjoy hanging out with you and... Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. We have some very delicate pictures. You might have an interest in not getting into the wrong hands. I am very happy with my current long distance provider. Thank you. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm having lunch with my friend. But if you just listen. <laughs> <laughs> Continuity! And he doesn't even care enough yeah. to. Oh my god! <laughs> Dazzle me. Oh my god. What you're about to see is rough. Very rough. It's a vomit pass at what might become a rock opera. Right now, it's set mostly in space, but we're not married to that. So we start in 1887 with a young Emma Goldman. <laughs> so they come and make us <laughs> And he's all into it now. It needs a third act showstopper. I had the same note. But in all... It's spellbinding. <laughs> All right. No way. <laughs> yeah. Todd really rose to the occasion, didn't he? Talking about you. I was talking uh, about yeah. you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Maybe the Zoe has a little Zelda in him after all. I appreciate the sentiment, but I still think that game is stupid. Hey, Bojack, do you realize what this means? What? If this thing's a hit, I could finally move out. Oh, uh, you're gonna move out. Audiography and pyrotechnics for you. <laughs> this is all just happening so fast. I don't, I don't think Todd is ready for this. Todd's not ready, or you're not ready. Yeah. Don't make this about me. I've seen what happens when baby birds get pushed out of the nest too soon. It's not your fault. I thought he was ready. 
Oh my god. Dude. Excuse me, young man. Can you hand me that Ronnie Millsap single in the 10 cent bin? Oh, sure Decathlon. Seven. Oh shit. Decapathon. Time. This is no time for a relapse. Look, okay, I'll, I'll buy it now, but I won't play it till after I've written a new song. Todd, this is a bad idea. <sighs> All sales are final. <laughs> we both know that if you play That's, that game, yeah, right, this is a great metaphor for a drug addiction. Uh huh. Or, yeah, you yeah. Know, alcohol you. or substance Good. abuse or anything like that. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Come on. Damn it, Todd. The investor showcases in half an hour. Did you work on the song? Huh? Pull yourself together, man. Uh, oh my god. Uh, yep. <laughs> why does the water have to come out of your mouth? And on this planet, uh, it's our home in space. Rock opera. More like schlock flabra. Long enough. Clearly, Van Cleef has shown a rare lapse in taste and Oof. judgment. Shut your mouth, Todd. And you shut yours, Van Cleef, or I will buck it shut. Suck a dick, dumb shits. Yeah, but that's the thing. He did oh. want to burn the bridge. No, it's not the video game's fault. I blew it. For a second, I actually convinced myself I was more Damn than it. just a worthless screw-up. So did he plant the game? <laughs> yeah. Guess I won't be needing this piece of junk anymore. Hey, no. Hold on to that. Why don't you just put it in the living room closet? Really? In fact, from now on, you can keep all your stuff in the living room closet. Wow. That little... What the... Don't look at those. Those are private. Are these the notes you've been taking on Mr. Peanut Butter? It's gibberish. Have you just been mashing keys this whole time? It's a it's a work in progress. Mm-hmm. Just wanted to spend time with you. Yep. I think it's pretty obvious to everyone that you shouldn't be with Mr. Peanut Butter. You should be with me. But... No, I I've dated you. But, sure, yeah. Sure, you're smart and sophisticated and cool but you're also mean you know what your problem is you're trying to be a zelda but you're so obviously a zoe oh that shit hmm. again you can live your happy zelda life in this happy zelda town and pretend you're a happy zelda but i know you and this isn't you people don't Ooh. change diane not really mr peanut butter is zelda he's happy oh well, there's that mean side yeah, I bought this earlier and I'd like to return it. I don't know where the receipt went. I remember you. You came in yesterday. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a darkness inside you. <sighs> you can bury it deep in burritos as big as your head. But someday soon, that darkness is going to come out. And when it does, I want you to call me. <sighs> All that to get him to clean up his shit. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Wow. Oh no, the receipt You're is You're kidding there. me. 90 bucks? Jesus Christ. Oh okay. my god, okay. That's, All that's, right. That was, a, that was a solid episode. Yep. It, it gave us some Todd focus. Mm -hmm. uh, it gave us a little bit of an understanding of to what depth Bojack is uh, clinging to yes. his own kind of... Uh, miserable state that exactly. he's in and he doesn't want to change at all mm -mm. if he feels mm -mm. anything change related coming to his environment he will very much viciously attack it well yeah he will he will also very much scheme and connive his way into making sure that it does not change he does mm -hmm. not need to be a blunt instrument at that that point he will right he will use his intelligence and and means to get that done. That is, but that is, oh, oh. and while it is, while it is dark and scary and oh shit, you know, yeah. Um, I see this actually as a lot of progress. Okay. You know yeah. why? Okay. Because that's something where Bojack actually had to confront his darker side of himself. And while yeah, he sure, did lose sure. the battle, right? Yes, he definitely did. It would take an even greater level of denial and mm. and face in the sand in order to basically mm -hmm. say no. This yeah. isn't this isn't something That's where it's true. a crippling dependency of mine. Right. The, the the main thing is is that we've seen him realize at many times that he's aware of his own inadequacies, mm -hmm. but he has the ability to out of sight, out of mind it. And Put on thus, the blinders, if you will. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And because of that, um, 
he doesn't feel like he has to actually face it directly. Mm -hmm. And because this was also something that no one will talk about or know about, it won't get brought up. Until that receipt's found. Until that receipt's found. And that will that will make your life very difficult, Bojack. Mm -hmm. And it didn't yeah. have to be difficult. That's true. Yeah, exactly. But you made this bed and now you're going to lie in it. Mm -hmm. And the fact and that you it. messed up. Right. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my God. And we won't satisfy you. You won't satisfy it. Nope. Nope. That's right. Yeah. But but you will you will be the better for the fact that you weren't able to do this yes. properly. Yes. Right. So you should fail. You should fail with mm -hmm. some measure of regularity in life and not not necessarily with a like you should fail, but more like a no, it is important that you don't always succeed at every single thing yeah. that you do, because then that shows that you're at the very least struggling and pushing forward to change some things, because if mm -hmm. you're just having the same thing go exactly the same way over and over and over again you're not actually going to be learning anything so right you learn from your failures and bojack yep. will learn from this eventually maybe oh yeah. but for now for now uh for now he has uh well dodged a terrorism threat from uh someone who got the photos <laughs> yes from him last episode and and by dodge uh what's that no 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 <laughs> Headed through a tunnel. I can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's too loud. <laughs> oh, right. God. Uh, yes. I can't wait for now that we've gotten into the point where like we're seeing all the little things mm. that will keep Bojack Accumulating. in this space because right. you know because his actions will have consequences. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see those consequences all come to bear, especially if it all happens in rapid succession. I, I think because... that yeah, I think that we'll see them accumulate in a very strong and. Um, unfortunate way for Bojack. Right. So yeah. we've got two so far. Just two. And even those... Just will, two? Uh, well, mm, I think we have a well, couple okay. that are more fundamental. Yeah, yeah, One, we've got fundamental he's, he's ones. Kind of, he's kind of on and off a drug addict. No, no, totally. Like, uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> you know. Right, there are, there are those. But like the... Right. The external you know, yeah, forces. Exactly. We've I got the receipt saying. and we've yeah. got the photos, right? Yeah. Those two in and of themselves are going to do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. But... Then on top of that, not just emotional. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But we also have some things being set up with other characters. Yes, the, with the whole yeah thing with Wayne and Diane that was very interesting because mm -hmm. because the way that Diane was set up in this show, yeah. she was the perfect person to come into BoJack's life, right? Uh, right, because she's she's not so powerful enough that he's going to feel threatened by her presence. Right, but she's also just just right on the spectrum of the. Hey, cute girl that is interested in me, so right. he, can, he, he can he can take his narcissism and get suckered in right. to the opportunity to communicate his own internal issues mm -hmm. to yep. somebody. And even though it's not a therapist, even though it should be, um, he's going to benefit from that. Right. Yeah. And. And, oh, hey, there's also a thing in there so that you won't be able to ruin it because she's currently dating someone else. And even that was brought up because Wayne was trying to get with her and she's like, no, I like Todd. He's mm -hmm. he's nice. You're not. Yeah, even though he screwed up the mm -hmm. thing with the show because he had a thing that he's like, oh, my priorities are kind of bigger than yours. He didn't just throw that mm -hmm. under the bus and be like, eh, forget about it. Right. He, he knew that he was being selfish and he's like, hey, I, I made a sacrifice. Here's I, I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Here's some money. To make tickets, sure boom. that you get this thing here. Yep. Cool. And also, the fun thing is that he didn't basically say, we're going to go together. He basically gave her two tickets, and it's the, you can use them probably however you want. You mm -hmm. can take me. Yep. You can take anybody. You can take, you can take one of your friends. You can do whatever. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. Exactly. Because yep. it's, it's the whole thing of, you know, you're not going to necessarily have the same passions and likes and interests as the mm -hmm. people that you're closest to. Right. So sometimes it's the, yeah, 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 you're going to go see an art show thing that I could care less about. Totally. Go, go. Have and, fun. But yeah. that, that I think is something that very well establishes for me their dynamic in a way that mm -hmm. I believe. Right. Because Mr. Peanut Butter has been set up over the course of the show. Granted, Bojack might have a bit of bias here. True. But to be a very, dumbass. a dumbass, very like mm -hmm. impulsive and things like that. Yeah. Absolutely the kind of person that you wouldn't expect someone as sensible as Diane to actually want to be with. Right. But if it's the, no, he's still a dumbass and he'll do the things where it's like, no, 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 dumbass. no. We're, we're going to go get burritos. We're going to go get burritos and they're as big as our heads and it's going to be great. Yeah. But I know that wasn't what you wanted. So afterwards, don't worry. Yeah. Here you go. You will still be able to see your show. Right. You know, he's, he's blockheaded, but he's not mean. Right. To compare him to Bojack, hmm. Bojack is mean. 
Oh, yeah. Bojack is viciously mean sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, in some ways, it's surprising how little Mr. Peanut Butter seems to be affected by it. Because there's definitely a Mr. Peanut Butter wants the attention or the approval or Mm -hmm. the connection with Bojack. Right. And yet, Bojack keeps constantly stepping on it. So right. I feel like it's that it's that golden retriever kind of energy where it's just the he doesn't like because because the abuse isn't reaching a certain level, Mr. Peanut Butter isn't really aware of it. Ah, uh, you know? sure. And so okay. he's just like, oh yeah, hi. You know, like is that an is that an example of his dumbness or his goodness? Yeah. You know, Wait, it's hard to say. Yeah, it's hard to say. You yeah. know, it doesn't does it really matter, right? Right. But you know, you can have a situation where Wayne says all of that stuff. Sure. literally right in front of Mr. Peanut Butter. Mr. Peanut Butter's just like, oh, he's nice, yeah. you know? Right, like, <laughs> okay. I, I feel so bad, but I like I know somebody who's who's exactly like Mr. Peanut Butter, but in the best possible way, I swear. It's the kind of thing where they just can't see anything bad about a person. They're not wow. dumb. They're not. But there's something so pure and, uh-huh. and stupid about it that's just like, ah, oh, yes, I'm going to do good by people. I'm going to do mm-hmm. my best to just do good. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're but a, you could you're use some thorns, you know. You, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's not that you're blind and it's not mm-hmm. that you don't have, you know, like a concept of this. It's not that you're a child or naive or something. But it's just that they... I think they push down mm. a whole so lot effectively. of what they're not wanting to deal with. Okay. That it's a form of what Bojack does with his avoidance kind of. But it's it's mentality. more high functioning. It's way more high functioning, right? Because because the because the problem yeah. is the problem with what Bojack does isn't so much the fact that he's mean. Mm-hmm. It's that he doesn't realize he's mean, right? Because if he's able right. to just if he if he reaches the sure. point where he's like, no, yeah. I'm a mean person. That's if he became more like Wayne, that would still sure. be a level of progress, right? Because yeah. then at least there's no internal strife because the his meanness comes about from the fact that he isn't able to look himself in the mirror. Right. That's where the most yeah. of it comes from, yeah. right? If he's a, if he's a yeah. bit mean on top of that, then hey, at least you at least you know why you're doing it, and then you can you can do it to the exact amount that you need for yourself, yeah. rather the, than the like. Mean- having it being you know over the top and excessive right the mean nice thing is a spectrum there are some people that tend a little bit towards the meanness there are some people that tend a little bit towards the nice side but like even then like you're saying bojack bojack could very easily go in a more self-aware wayne direction Mm -hmm. with a little bit more relationship with somebody like todd where it's sure oh you know todd just had some really basic needs that he was looking to get fulfilled by spending time with Bojack. And yes, he is, you know, lounging about just kind of taking advantage of, you know, the fact that you really can't afford to be alone emotionally. Right. So that being said, you know, if you communicated your needs with Todd, you guys made some kind of pretty honest trade about this. You Mm -hmm. could start up at the very least a transactional relationship of like, Hey, uh, you know, Bojack's like, I'm deathly terrified of the void and what I'll do or won't do if I'm Mm -hmm. alone. And then Todd can be like, bro, I totally get that. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's just. When I was on the run from the Russian mafia, I was. Or or yeah, just uh, let's go and let's just go and do random shit. And, you know, maybe if anything, just be a little bit less derisive towards me. Sure. And then, uh, we could get something going. You know, maybe we maybe can both be, have stripper for lunch. Yeah, maybe maybe we won't be stripper friends, you know, but or maybe we won't even be best friends, but it'll be mm. like the, you know, we can make something happen. And then and then from there, you know, yep. just to know. But right now there's a receipt, so that's probably you, you might have lost your chance at that. So or, yeah, yeah, it's going to come about after a lot of pain. Uh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this is the kind of show where you start off Setting up all the pins. Mm-hmm. And you bring a big, massive bowling ball and you just knock over all the pins. And they like, oh, yeah. they, mm-hmm. But there's no but there's no pit that nicely collects all the pins at the bottom. No. They get sent on the oh, dance yeah. floor of life and they go ping to all these different directions. And then you spend five times the time 
trying to collect the Dragon Balls again, basically. Or, or yeah, just trying to understand what happened. <laughs> what did I do? I mean, what specifically? <laughs> 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 oh god yeah uh, yeah very 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 strong episode mm -hmm. um obviously the rock opera musical stuff was was cringy and funny but i did love the idea of a character who came in and is like yes this is beautiful <laughs> gifted and I, I almost love the idea that this guy is actually just a big idiot as well Oh, absolutely but but also i love the other idea that it's actually that the industry itself that he's in is so niche mm -hmm. and weird and not right. very filled with talent. That, that even really, a modicum of talent. Well, even a modicum of work passion. With. Ah, he's like, sure. I want to put my, you know, put my my skill set, head, to work. if you will, my yeah. antlers behind somebody mm -hmm. that shows that little bit of gumption of initiative right, to right. actually go in this, and he's young it's a it's a potential for like a, a potential uh, parallel with uh herb kazaz and bojack an older mm. guy who's an expert in the industry finding sure. someone who doesn't know their shit he heard all the stuff about how he was saying right. todd isn't this or this 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 but right. give him a shot mm -hmm. and then he's like sure we can work with it yeah I, I think there's something, there's you, some kind of lesson there in that well, that Bojack if, could have picked up on, but... If you think about it, the perspective yeah. is completely the opposite of Bojack in that sense, right? Sure. Because, because Bojack, like, he, he, he he's able to look past all the Bo, all the stuff that Bojack says sure. that is true, mm -hmm. right? You know, and, and if Bojack were able to have a bit of that perspective with himself... Yeah. Uh -huh. Then, you know, like... Yeah, you'd be set. You'd be you'd set because because even if you're in a bad place, going. at least you'd be moving, right? And then if you're yeah. moving, then you'll get to a different place. And if you have any sense or some people to you'll help realize you out you and guide you, that it'll hopefully be in a, the, the direction of a better place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. But hey, right now, okay, you are the you you have realized you are the type of person that goes to rather crazy lengths to set up. A sabotage uh -huh. for the one friend you have. Yeah, yeah. After you, they actually became your friend. Mm hmm. Yep. That was that yeah, was brutal. Mm hmm. Also, a uh, fun fun little thing here. We had um, Mr. Peanut Butter's uh, sitcom brought up. Oh and yeah. The idea that there was a you know a Zoe or a Zelda, and that's all the whole dumb thing in there. But the idea that the show was critically, and I think this BuzzFeed guy, Wayne, actually knows what he's talking about. It was a shittier show version oh, uh -huh. of things. But the idea that maybe there was an endearing capacity to it, or is well, an endearing capacity mm -hmm. to it, that stays beyond the BoJack, you know, kind of uh, yeah. sitcom similarities. If you, like, an another way to potentially look at it is that... um not to say that the Zoe Zelda thing isn't true or accurate, but it's that all the thing, all the ways that Wayne applied it here were in ways where it's it's not helpful. Really. Yeah, exactly. Right, but yeah, that was a situation where you know what he was saying was essentially people were able to resonate with that. There was some aspect of that that maybe felt genuine, mm -hmm. you know. And even if everything else was shitty, yeah, you still got that mm -hmm. right. And that's essentially what Todd displayed here. Yeah, and well, Bojack in a Another way, you also displayed. You it. also displayed that, yeah. So, wow, good job, good job, yeah. So even when we have a semi-musical episode, mm. you know, where you know it's right. literally the songs are bad. Like, yeah, the, the moment by moment of this episode, I definitely did not enjoy nearly as much as the as previous, previous episodes. Ones. Yeah, yeah, they still pulled this one into a. A mm -hmm. very nice uh, look at who Bojack is. Yeah, fun things happened this episode. Though. Yeah, but mm -hmm. all right. Uh, Y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out my Persona 5 Royal Let's Play on Twitch. Uh, yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.